Once in a lifetime or so, a chess player plays a game so epic, even Stockfish nods in approval. This is one such game, and when I say a perfect game, I mean a game with a 100% accuracy score on chess.com. This game was reviewed with Stockfish 15 at a depth of 30, and Hikaru still has 100% accuracy. What does that mean? A perfect score means all the moves played are the exact moves that a computer engine would have played. That means Hikaru did not make a single inaccuracy, mistake, or blunder throughout the game. What's crazier is that he also played the top engine move every single time. This game features Hikaru Nakamura, our protagonist, and Dutch Grandmaster Luc van Weyli. This game was played in Amsterdam in 2010. Hikaru has the white pieces and Grandmaster Luc van Weyli has the black pieces. I should mention that Van Veli has a peak fight rating of 2701. So yes, Hikaru played a perfect game against a world championship contender. Let's get into it. Hikaru starts off with 1 e4 and Van Veli responds with c5, the Sicilian defense. The Sicilian defense is one of the most popular responses to 1 e4 at Grandmaster level as it allows for more attacking chances for black. Hikaru plays nf3, Van Veli plays d6, and they play classical Sicilian theory until move 6. Hikaru plays bg5, putting pressure on the black knight. This move is still theory, but not super popular. Von Veli responds with the knight b to d7. Hikaru lashes out with f4, and Von Veli responds with queen to b6, attacking the undefended b2 pawn. With this move, the game has transitioned to the Nydorf variation of the Sicilian. Hikaru responds with queen to d2, seemingly leaving his b2 pawn to die. Van Willy grabs the free pawn, but he has just fallen into Hikaru's trap. Van Willy should have responded with e5, striking at white's dominant setter and grabbing space, but Van Willy grabbed the poison pawn and now is simply losing. Hikaru responds with rook to b1, attacking Van Willy's queen. Van Willy retreats to a3. Hikaru responds with the first only move of the game, Bishop takes f6. Van Willy recaptures with a knight and Hikaru plays his second only move of the day, pawn to e5. Van Willy responds with D, takes E5, doubling his E pawns. Hikaru recaptures with tempo as his F pawn now attacks the Black Knight on F6. The Knight jumps back to D7, and Hikaru finds the only winning move again, Knight to D5. This move threatens the C7 square, which would fork the King and Rook. Van Willy is forced to play Queen to C5 to defend against the C7 fork, but this is when Hikaru uncorks pure savagery. He first drops his Knight back to B3, another only move. This move attacks the queen, who has to protect the c7 square from the d5 knight. The queen drops back to c6, still keeping her eye on the c7 square. Then, Hikaru plays yet another only move, knight to a5. Black's queen has to move again, this time to c5. This move allows Hikaru to capture the b7 pawn with tempo. The queen drops back to b7 and puts pressure on the b7 knight. And right when you think Wanvili has consolidated his position and the game is even, Hikaru responds by sacrificing the rook. Rook b6, another only move. With this move, the game is over. This move attacks and traps the queen. Seems like the knight can just capture the rook for free, but this would be a big mistake as it would lead to checkmate in just three moves. This is the variation. Knight takes on b6, knight to f6, sacrificing the knight to open the d-file, pawn takes and queen checkmates on d8. Even if you don't capture the rook, the position is completely winning for white as black's queen is trapped and the position will soon fall apart. Seeing all of this, GM Van Wheelie resigns and Hikaru wins in just 17 moves. A dazzling display of machine-like accuracy. Although there were no brilliant moves, Hikaru played 6 only moves to end a thrilling match with 100% accuracy. And that is how Hikaru Stockfish Nakamura played a perfect game. That's the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. You can find more videos like this here.